Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave and currently situated as you may guess from the big uh, sort of play area playing in the background actually in Munich en route to Turin uh, via Lufthansa I've been quite impressed with so far actually um, anyway this is my match preview of uh, Wolves playoff round against Torino of Turin in the Europa League. So, how are we feeling about it? I'm really excited. Um, it's a long trip, as you can imagine. Well, not that long, really. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a two flights into Munich, then into Turin to actually get to the, uh, to the hotel. Really gonna get in uh, in the early hours um, to the hotel and um, uh, hopefully the match vlog is going to be really special i'm also thinking about maybe doing a little bit of live streaming um in the pre-match for you guys that watch the channel to try and capture a bit more of the atmosphere and get a bit of the city so in terms of um how i'm feeling about the actual game um against uh, torino it's going to be an incredibly tough game really tough there's a lot of similarities actually between um wolves and torino Torino have actually won uh, the, the Italian top division um, seven times, but five of those were in a row and they were in the 1940s. So that sort of big period was kind of like, how do you say, sort of a bit like Wolves back in the 50s when they were like one of the main team. Um, last season in Serie A, they finished seventh. They actually didn't qualify uh, for Europe because of the um, AC Milan getting expelled because of their financial irregularities in June. Uh, they, they found that they were in the Europa League and um, to be honest, a bit like Wolves, they were probably hoping to um, to, to progress and there's not, nothing saying that they won't progress, they're a strong side, uh, but obviously Wolves are probably the, the, the strongest team that they didn't want to get, a bit like Wolves with Torino. Um, Nuno said in the press conference that um, all the teams fit and Matt Do Doherty's okay. I've met some Wolves fans on the way, actually. I've met some subscribers on the way. So I've got a little bit of thoughts from them as well uh, to share with you. Um, but let's talk about the, the, uh, the game itself. What is the team going to be? What do we think the prediction is? So... Um, one of the guys that I met on the way thinks that Nuno is going to make five or six changes. I can't see it, personally. Uh, Nuno will go with the strongest possible team available to him. Um, he'll want to get a result out of this and bring them back to Molyneux. Um, Torino actually play a very similar way to Wolves. 3-4, uh, sorry, 3-5-2. Same sort of formation with the wing-backs. Uh, they're very hard to break down. They don't concede many goals. They only conceded 37 goals in uh, Serie A last year. Uh, and they do play a very similar system to Wolves, and it's a system that sometimes when Wolves are matched up have been difficult uh, to play against. So they do play a lot on the break. So there's, all, there's so many similarities between the side, between the sides. Uh, their main striker, Balotti, um, had a great year last year, and they've got a really good keeper as well. So in terms of um, what I think the starting lineup, I think he's going to go with Rui Patricio, um, obviously Cody, and also Bolly. The question mark for me is Bennett didn't have a very good game um, on Thursday night. Will he bring in Jesus into the thing? That might be a change. The wing backs, Johnny Otto, will Doherty be fit? Will he play him? That's a doubt. Traore made a really good big impact, but again, Doherty's better overall. Um, he, that might be a change. The, the middle three is, is bound to be Dendon, Neves and Moutinho. And up front, I can't see anything other than Jimenez and also uh, Jota starting. There is something that might might be about C Catroni starting. He has good record in Europe. He knows, obviously, the Italian league really well. I expect him to be quite involved. Um, so, yeah, but in um, the qualifying rounds, uh, Torino have gone 3-4-3, three, three, so slightly different. The Italian league actually starts this weekend, so they've probably had a little bit more rest than Wolves, but maybe Wolves are a little bit more battle-hardened. Um, I, th I believe the away goals count, so I'm going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw, and um, I think I'm going to go with Jota to score. Yeah, going to go with Jota to score. I'm going to go with 1-1. One, one. I'll be happy with that. If we can get a win, 
even better. Even if we lose and we get an away goal and there's only one in it, I'd still fancy us to get through uh, at Molyneux. But I'm feeling quite positive that we'll, you know, we'll get the result. Really looking for the for the forward for the experience and the atmosphere. It's going to be great, and I hope that my match vlog I'll be able to share with you a lot of the day, uh, the game and the reactions and all the, the emotions of the actual uh, tie itself. So make sure if you if you haven't subscribed already, I, hopefully you will subscribe. Hit the bell um, and look out um, for all of that coming up. And I hope it's going to be a really good one. Leave your match predictions and thoughts in your starting lineup below. Feel free to share, and hopefully you'll smash a like in uh, on on this vlog as well. And fingers crossed, we'll come out with a good result. Um, going to be on a plane in the next half an hour from Munich to Turin. As I say, getting and getting in in the early hours, um, which will probably when I land in Turin is probably when I've managed to edit a little bit of this, and uh, we'll get it up for you. So yeah really looking forward to it hopefully gonna catch up with a load of Wolves fans and you know have a shared experience <sighs> really excited tired but excited looking forward to the day tomorrow come on Wolves and uh, from me Dazzling Dave till the next one always Wolves